Hey guys, what's up? By Sack the Tron here from One Half Gazette here with the next video, and this one is going to be my reaction. Uh, now that we've had some time uh, to basically talk about the update and what I think of it, uh, kind of how I think it's affecting the game. It's it's still hard to tell because not everything's been worked out at every town hall level. But you know, being a few weeks removed, uh, we can kind of start to get an idea of what's exactly happened as a result of it, and kind of uh, how you know the first the first thoughts I had and the first thoughts a lot of other people had, uh, whether they actually turned out to be what was the the reality of the of the game changes. So we're basically going to go through recapping everything, and as I talk about it, I'll mention what I think of it, kind of my analysis of it. <clears throat> And uh, I think I included pretty much everything, uh, everything kind of war related. I'm not including the new interface or anything, obviously, just the war stuff. Um, so I'll just go through. Uh, let me know in the comments if I missed something or if you disagree, uh, if you agree, kind of what you're thinking after watching this video. I'll be interested to see that. Uh, but yeah, let's just get right into it, starting with some of the troops. Um, first of all, the wizards, level 7 wizards to Town Hall 11, the new uh, new level there. And then we have the level 6 wizards uh, going down to Town Hall 9, also being buffed. Uh, so new and improved level uh, 6 wizards to Town Hall 9. Uh, not a huge deal. People aren't using wizards in any great numbers. I think that, you know, it's uh, it's not that necessary. I don't think it was like, you know, Town Hall 9 needs to be made easier with those wizards. Um Overall, I think it's just kind of an average change. I think, you know, Town Hall 11, good for them. They got the new level Wizards. Uh, anything to help them up, up at Town Hall 11. And even Town Hall 10 that now has, you know, slightly more powerful Wizards. Um, actually, I think Town Hall 10 has level... Yeah, Town Hall 10 actually has level 7 Wizards as well. So, yeah, that's good for Town Hall 11, Town Hall 10. Uh, having the higher level Wizards, Town Hall 9, it's it's not that big of a deal, really. It's not going to unbalance it or anything. So, that's fine. Um... Level 6 baby, or not level 6 baby dragon, level 6 regular dragon at Town Hall 11, uh, which again, you know, anything to kind of add to possible other uh, unique army compositions depending on the base. I still don't think dragons are viable, uh, even if they are level 6, I haven't seen them being used. Uh, I'm sure people are still in the process of upgrading them, so it's going to take a while before testing and everything happens. I think they will work on certain bases just because, you know, level 6 dragons, that's a lot of DPS, that's a lot of hit points. I think that could end up being something, but um, for right now, uh, you know, we haven't seen a whole lot of it. I'll be interested to see how that happens. And obviously, any clan castle now has a level 6 dragon all the way down to like Town Hall 6 or 5 or something whenever you get that 20 space. So that'll be pretty powerful. Um, no objections there, really. I don't think it's going to do anything too harmful. Uh, it looks like a good change. Um, there is the level 5 baby dragon at Town Hall 11. The level 4 baby dragon moved down to Town Hall 10. Uh, I think that's good. That'll open up some more opportunities for Town Hall 10s to do two-star strategies on the Town Hall 11s, uh, make the wars a little more interesting. Um, I'm all for Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 continuing to have some different offensive things changed to make them, like I've said, a little more easier to three-star, uh, which some of this this update did to some extent. To some extent, it didn't also. Um, so that's kind of what happened. Um Moving right along, though, we have the hog change, which was probably the biggest thing to come from this update, uh, at least pre-update, like when what people thought was going to be the biggest thing. It hasn't been that big of a deal. I did kind of, that's what I was saying. I said it wouldn't, it would make, you know, hogs a little more powerful. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. I think I was almost spot on with that. And you guys can disagree, uh, potentially, you know, the, the, I guess you could argue either way, because uh, some people may have had more success with it. But what I've seen on good basis is it's not, you know, an easy spam your hogs. Um, we're still seeing people fail. We had last war. Um, and maybe I don't know, maybe we just suck. You could say that. I don't think so, though, because we played and we versed another good clan uh, in the CWL, which has good clans. And we'll see how this weekend goes. If that's any different, we're, we're facing one hive. But anyway, uh, we had town hall nines on both sides left uh, two star not we're not three star. We had to dip. So town hall nine is not easy. Um, not too easy. I mean, it, you could say it's relatively easy compared to Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, but Town Hall 9 really isn't that much easier because of the hogs. Um, we've seen a little more hog attacks, but 
uh, you know, that is what it is. I'm, I still wish they'd make that change, but who knows? Maybe Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, uh, because the miners, which I'll talk about next, because miners are no longer uh, quite as powerful, maybe hogs will start to be used more, which I'd love to see at Town Hall um, Town Hall 10. And yeah, the miners have been nerfed. Uh, they stay up longer. This wasn't really talked about. Supercell didn't announce this, I don't think, but we kind of figured it out. Um, I don't use them to farm anymore. That's how noticeable it was. They just are up, and that, that difference of being up for maybe half a second to a second longer um, after they take out a building before they dip underground makes a huge difference. Um, it's really affected the attacks, and, uh, you know, miners probably are still usable in certain situations, but they're not quite as powerful. Um, you definitely need, need to do more with your kill squad if you want to get the three stars, so... Uh, that's kind of the situation there. Town Hall 10 is a little bit in jeopardy of, you know, how do you three-star a base now? But I think, you know, we have dragons, we have hogs, we have, um, I guess, Valks and possibly Govaho. I think there's a lot of different things we can start experimenting with. Um, even just because right now, you know, we're struggling with getting Town Hall 10 three-stars versus other Town Hall 10s, the, you know, the straight across Town Hall 10 three-star. It doesn't mean that's not there's like no hope. I think that there are a lot of opportunities that people are just uh, it's a matter of time before they discover it. So uh, we'll see about how the minor uh, change is uh, really affects Town Hall 10 as we continue to to see people do different strategies and stuff and see if miners kind of come back a little because I haven't seen them in a little while. Um, the P.E.K.K.A. times 2, that's kind of a small thing, but the times 2 damage that Tesla's used to do to P.E.K.K.A.s is no longer a thing. Um, Town Hall 9, people said, okay, Go Wipe's back, especially with the new level Wizards. Uh, we're definitely going to see Go Wipe. I haven't seen it, but, but it's probably just because I'm in one hive. Maybe other uh, kind of clans that aren't in the war scene or the you know the CWL, the top war scene, are using Go Wipe, and maybe they're having success. I'd like to actually see that because I have no hard feelings towards Go Wipe. If it works to get a 3-star, then it's a good strategy. That's just how it works. Anything that gets the 3-star is worth using. Um... So maybe it's something I, I you know, let me know if you if you've seen Go Wipe work. Uh, but I haven't seen it much. I don't think it's quite you know too overpowered at Town Hall Nine. I think Pekka's are still relatively reasonable, and maybe that'll open up stuff at Town Hall Ten, Town Hall Eleven. I don't have max Pekka's. A lot of people don't because no one really upgraded them at Town Hall Ten. Uh, if you were if you're a recent Town Hall Ten, if you're you know been a Town Hall Ten for a long time, maybe you have. But I haven't seen many people experimenting with Pekkas. I think a few Town Hall Elevens have you know used Pekkas, and uh, that may have may have worked better for them. <clears throat> uh, but. Yeah, really, I, I, you know, I haven't seen a whole lot of it, so we'll continue to kind of, you know, hang around and see what, uh, what Peck has become, possibly at the at the top level. But as far as right now, I think that change hasn't had too much of an effect on kind of the uh, what's being used on on the top town hall levels. Um, moving along, that's pretty much it for the troops. If I kind of glance through here. Um, hopefully didn't leave anything out. The bowlers might have got a hit point nerf. I think that was the last update we had that. Uh, yeah, I believe the bowlers got a hit point nerf and uh, haven't noticed a huge difference as long as they're protected. And sometimes, guys, you got to use the heal on the bowlers. That's just something that sometimes you got to do because we're used to kind of mass bowler back in the day when you used a bunch of healers. Um, those healers would keep them up. But now that you don't have healers most of the time when you're using bowlers, Sometimes a heal is good, especially paired with a freeze to block the Inferno, uh, so they can get the benefit of the heal, all your bowlers can. Uh, that's you know something to keep in mind, because they don't have a ton of hit points, and they will go down very quickly. You saw it probably in the live attack, uh, the live on War Day video. I think there was a Town Hall 10 attack, the arrow I think it was. Uh, his bowlers just went down really quickly. So if they're not protected, they will go down fast, but I don't think they're meant to be a high HP troop. Um, they're just meant to, you know, do an interesting style of damage with that second bounce. And I think if you protect them, you should be fine. Uh, I'm not a huge, I'm not against the bowler nerf or whatever. It wasn't even a nerf really. It's just a very, uh, small, uh, change, which is good for Town Hall 9. If we switch gears to that, Town Hall 9, that's great. Bowlers are way too <clears throat> powerful. And, uh, if you'd use it right, the bowlers are probably just as powerful if you keep them behind your golems. But anything to kind of throw off the Town Hall 9, uh, you know, bowler kill squad, which I think has been done to a certain extent. We still see it a lot, but um, at least a little a small dent's been made in it. Um, so anyway, uh, moving on to some of the defenses and that kind of stuff. We have the bomb tower. Uh, I think, you know, it's 
it's a good defense for Town Hall 9. I'm all for adding a defense, making Town Hall 9 a little harder. Uh, Town Hall 9, like I said, has not been easy at all lately for us. Maybe it has for other clans, but from what I've seen, it's still a, a, a reasonable and I guess f because of that, a fun Town Hall level to be at. Um, there's a lot of... Uh, you know, a lot of uncertainty when you're attacking, how it's going to go. So I think it's, you know, in a pretty good spot right now. And the bomb tower has done probably a, a good job kind of balancing Town Hall 9 out a, a little bit further. Uh, Town Hall 10, two bomb towers, that's a lot. Um, people are still maxing those guys out, so we'll see what they do when they're maxed. But I think along with that in the minor, um, like the miners moving a little bit slower or not dipping down as quick. Um, that's really made miners uh, much less powerful, and it's also kind of, you know, bowlers, valks, anything that goes in big numbers on the ground has been affected by that, and uh, <clears throat> uh, what I think is that, uh, at, you know, Town Hall 10 is going to really need people to d design new attacks, maybe use those hogs that now have the, uh, the, the buff from the giant bombs, use dragons, use other stuff, because uh, Supercell has definitely made a point that they don't want miners to be uh, standing out as the top uh, three-star strategy at Town Hall 10. So we'll see how it works. Town Hall 11, you know, obviously it's uh, it's a powerful defense. And really a lot of it, what it does is when it blows up, that damage is kind of like an extra giant bomb. So that's pretty devastating if it hits the right group of troops. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how it shapes up still. Not a whole lot of time has passed. So uh, people still have to max those out in a lot of cases. Um, so that's the Bomb Tower Expo Mortar, both buffed. Uh, not you know that's it is what it is. Not a huge deal. Um, the expo wasn't really buffed. There was a new level added at Town Hall 11, which I'm not a huge fan of. I don't think Town Hall 11 needs to be more powerful defensive wise, but they added it. So yeah, it is what it is. Maybe they're just trying to make it a two star game up there, which uh, which wouldn't be the best. But I can I can see that direction. I don't want to talk too much about that because uh, I want to keep moving. The mortar, a um, little more powerful, which is good because the mortar was kind of irrelevant. People put it outside their base, and people still do. But you want to make it kind of at least feel like a defense almost because it really wasn't doing much before the update. So just giving it a little more power, a um, little more damage will, will definitely help kind of make people see it as defense again. Put it inside their base, make Town Hall 9 a little bit harder. And uh, if it makes Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 a little harder, I'd be surprised because really point defense is where it's at at those Town Hall levels. Um, okay, moving along here, we have the new walls at Town Hall 11. Not really a big deal. Walls, you know, people use jump spells and stuff real, uh, to get past them. Slight defensive buff, but I'm not focused on that too much. Uh, level 9 Teslas, also um, a new thing they added, I believe. And that really is... Um, that, that's another thing at Town Hall 11, in addition to the, you know, expos, in addition to the new bomb tower, they're adding a lot to Town Hall 11 uh, to really make it something that's going to be hard to three-star with any composition, really. So I'll talk a little bit about the Town Hall levels at the end. Um, we have the Skelly spell, which we've seen some people do interesting stuff. I've seen people drop the Skeleton spell to take out an air defense. That's something that's kind of interesting. Um, cause sometimes if there's no wizard towers, you can drop the spell right on the air defense and the skellies will just take that out. If there's no like heroes or air or wizard towers or bomb towers or stuff that would take out those skeletons too quickly, Tesla's included. If it's just regular point defense, uh, you can do that very cheaply sometimes. And we've seen people just use it when they don't need that second poison spell, put it down, it'll distract stuff. If your king is moving in, I mean, I have a whole mini tip on this, but the skelly spell has become uh, very useful in certain circumstances, which I love to see it. It's awesome to see that clone spell. Uh, not not quite there yet. I have not seen people use it at all, really. I think because it takes up that four spell space, that's just such an investment. You could have two rages, you could have two heals, a rage and a heal, a freeze and a heal. There's so many different spells you could have. Um, it really has to make itself worth it, and maybe that means making it a permanent uh, troop. Uh, cloning because the troops go away after a while that you clone which i understand they don't just want to make it an extension of your army camps but i think that that limits it so unless there's more troops being spawned which is, i think is what they added or longer duration which or actually it was longer duration they added to uh, the clone spell the troops last longer that you clone but still it, they need to change something maybe make it take up three spell space or something something to make it usable because right now we're not seeing it a whole lot and it's delicate you don't want it to be too overpowered i get that but um, if people continue not to use it after this update, uh, they should rethink buffing it again. Uh, that might be useful. Finally, clan challenges, um, all good on that. You know, 
we're not making anyone do it, so it's not like it's going to hurt the game. And uh, people now have that option, which we're using. We're going to do that pretty much every weekend, I think. We're done with doing the arranged war searches. It's all the clan challenges. We have a shorter prep day. Uh, makes it so you can kind of just get that war in a little bit quicker. Doesn't have to take up too much time from your regular wars. So that's all good. Uh, just to recap, guys, uh, the update, you know, pretty pretty good. I think there's some stuff that's definitely interesting in it. Um, opening a lot of new doors at Town Hall 10. It did take away kind of the meta, which was minors and different minor variations, but I think it has opened the door for new cool stuff at Town Hall 10 once we figure it out, which might take a little while. But some, you know, dragons, hogs, stuff is there. Um, I think it's just a matter of, you know, being able to de develop that strategy. And you know what? If, if it's too hard, um, then we should start kind of ringing the bell for a for an offensive buff or a defensive nerf to some stuff. But right now, Town Hall 10, I'm excited to be a Town Hall 10. There's a lot of new uh, possibilities opening up. Town Hall 9 is still difficult. The hogs have become a little more powerful. Air attacks are also powerful. We're seeing that as well. And it seems like they're powerful, but sometimes they just don't work. Uh, people have been really struggling at Town Hall 9, uh, especially in Genesis. Maybe you guys have had different experiences. I can only talk from what I've seen. Uh, Town Hall 9, to me, does not seem to be too easy. Like people thought after the update, you can't just spam hogs in. It's a little harder than that. So uh, still a, a fun Town Hall to be at. Definitely easier than Town Hall 10. Town Hall 11, it's kind of started taking the L as far as three stars go. Um, Witches, you know, Pekkas, those aren't making that much of a difference uh, for Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 11 attacks, maybe for dip attacks, but when it's Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 11, I just, they've had too many defensive buffs. I don't see it being a three-star game unless they make some drastic changes. And if that's the direction they want to go, that's fine. But as we see more and more people upgrade to Town Hall 10 or Town Hall 11, uh, the dip attacks are going to make it the war more weird because you'll have a bunch of Town Hall 11s with dip attacks. So things will start getting weird. But as long as there's only like a few Town Hall 11s, maybe like less than six, six or less, eight or less in a big war, uh, the dip attacks will probably be the meta. And uh, we'll just see the Town Hall 10s go up and two-star the Town Hall 11s. So right now, that's kind of what we're seeing in war. Not the best situation, but, you know, that's where the game is at right now. Uh, so overall, update has good things, update has bad things. Let me know what you think in the comments. That's the important thing. Uh, get the discussion going in there. Make sure to check out what other people are saying. And that'll be interesting to see what everyone thinks of the update. Hope you guys liked the video and the attacks. Long video, but I wanted to talk about pretty much everything I thought was important. And hopefully, I didn't leave anything out that was too big. Uh, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Sectatron out.